Coming up in today's edition of The Play, two Oklahoma teachers will be honored at an upcoming NASCAR race. But first, the decision handed down by the U.S. Supreme Court on the Federal Defense of Marriage Act. Joining me now with more on this story and other headlines is local assistant editor Nick Turgakos. Thank you so much for being here. No problem. All right, well, on Wednesday, the high court struck down a provision of the federal law prohibiting same-sex married couples from receiving health, tax, and pension benefits. Will this decision have any impact on Oklahoma's law concerning marriage? What we're hearing, um, our reporter Chris Castile, uh, who's based in D.C. and is covering this topic, uh, spoke to Oklahoma Attorney General Scott Pruitt today. And what Pruitt is telling us is that he does not think that, this, that the Supreme Court decision will have any effect on Oklahoma. In fact, what, what Pruitt says is that what the Supreme Court has done has confirmed that it's up to the states to define how marriage uh, should be viewed in their own states. He says uh, he doesn't see that what the Supreme Court decided will have any effect on Oklahoma's marriage law, which defines marriage as between a man and a woman. Now, one thing that's interesting and that uh, Chris will be getting into is the uh, disbursement of federal benefits. Mm -hmm. uh, if you are a gay couple that were married and came to Oklahoma, would you qualify for federal benefits? Uh, these are the things that we're going to be kind of wow. digging into and trying to explain to readers in tomorrow's wow. paper. So, Yeah, that's interesting. A lot to that. All right, well, two Oklahoma teachers are heading to Kentucky in the next few days to take part in a NASCAR race this weekend. Now, what can you tell us about this? This is fun. Well, this is a neat deal. Um, the Charitable Foundation for NASCAR and Feed the Children are getting together. Uh, it's the Feed the Children 300 NASCAR race. And what they've decided to do is bring out a couple Oklahoma teachers. There's one teacher from Briarwood Elementary School and one from Plaza Towers Elementary School. They're going to go to the NASCAR race. One of them is going to be the honorary grand marshal, and the other one will be the honorary starter. So you'll have one waving the green flag and the other one giving that uh, iconic gentleman start your engines command. So it's a neat thing, and what we're understanding is that in some of the television broadcasts of the race coming up this weekend, that they will turn the spotlight back on the Oklahoma City area and kind of highlight where we are in our recovery efforts. So it's kind of a neat thing all around. I know, obviously uh, spotlighting that, but then also, you know, honoring those teachers who, you know, from some of the stories we've heard, it sounds like those teachers really went above and beyond the call to protect those kids. They did, and, and what NASCAR is saying is we can only have two teachers come, but we really want this to, to be a sign that we're paying tribute to all the teachers. Oh, I love it. That is awesome. Well, obviously, you can find all of these stories in Thursday's Oklahoman. Uh, and so make sure you check out not only these stories, but much more in the Oklahoman and on NewsOK.com. Thanks for joining us for The Play, where you get tomorrow's headlines today. Thanks so much.